Hello and welcome back to another game on Arena. Just a little bit of time of casting, but I'm trying to use it uh, to its fullest potential. We have a game between LB10 playing in Teal and Keith playing in Red. They're both Vikings. You can see this is uh, an 18 plus rated game, so not the, the highest level, but uh, it's an interesting one. Um, I've seen uh, LB10's point of view, that's why I'm bringing this game. He was streaming this, and a uh, really interesting strategy here. Let's go for the maps first. I'm going to start with the LB, we do see no back bases for any player. There is a, a lonely wolf in the forest, uh, doesn't really matter. Main stone for LB, relatively safe, a little bit trapped in the forest, but it's alright. Second stone also inside. Main gold, relatively forward, second gold inside, and a third gold on the right hand side, close to two relics actually. And we have one more relic between the two players here. Also LB, not sure if that's his own sheep or maybe long to keep. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, and he's getting a few more in. Five, six, seven, am I missing some? Uh, not sure, let's uh, check for Keith, is that LB's sheep? I don't really see it, I don't know. Uh, probably doesn't matter too much. Uh, looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is that correct? Mm, I'm not sure right now. Doesn't uh, matter too much. I think players will be fine either way. Mm, let's see. Boar inside, a second boar also inside. We've got four deer, but outside between the two players. That won't be easy to lure them in, I guess. LB is not going for them. Uh, it's gonna go without the deer. And uh, stand for a lumber. I think we've seen everything for LB space. Let's see for Keith. Second gold and third gold on the left hand side. Uh, main gold, not too forward, but okay ish. The second stone forward, the main stone forward. And <laughs> inside, of course. One relic inside, that's a good thing. Another relic. No, where did I see that one? Um, no, that's the deer. One deer inside, two deer outside. The boars, uh, boars, I guess, both inside. Uh, where's the second one, actually? There is one. I got the first one, of course. And uh, map not really good for for Keith here. We've got an extra goal in the right hand side. Uh, but I think that's the only extra uh, resource we have here. And that's one, two, three relics on the right hand side. I forgot about this one. Didn't see it yet. So LB um, might want to go for the monks. He's actually going to uh, lure the deers. He's open the space. Can hear a second boar come in for... That was LB's boar, I guess. Yeah, there we go. And both players are going to go to Feudal and Castle Age. Both players are going to lure the deer in, I guess. Yes, uh, Keith is doing the same thing. Going four villagers, leaving four on boar, and he's going to take more sheep. I guess he uh, stole one sheep from LB, but uh, will be LB will be fine. A little bit late on that one. Uh, should have kept that earlier and that farm is not ideal either. Not sure about this. Um, that's, mm, that's a farm you don't want to have. I guess Keith's gonna fix it later on. And uh, both players are gonna go to Feudal Age. I'll be clicking up first. Keith, one more villager. That means a little bit later, but uh, relatively low population. Four farms up for LB. Did he get all the deer in? No, still going. I'm uh, not sure. This may be one of LB's deer even. Didn't pay attention, but I think LB didn't have uh, three, four deer right now. I guess it was only three. Um, so Keith can go for one more here actually. Managed to steal a sheep and deer. <laughs> really really interesting to see. Blacksmith and market coming up for LB. Um, same thing probably for Keith. Yeah, I don't see any barracks, so Blacksmith market. That's alright. Uh, 560 food. Same for LB. They might struggle a little bit. Uh, but they have villages on deer and food, so Kif is up, I think, and LB the same thing. Almost the same time in Castle Age, Kif is 7 seconds uh, ahead and 1 villager ahead. LB lost some time here, actually, this is not too good. He's got a lot of villages on gold. Um, this looks like a monk rush, actually. I don't think he's going to do it, because Vikings moves, as far as I remember, not the strongest ones. And Keith at the same time going up as well. But, ooh, he's got eight villagers on goal as well. So uh, I stand corrected. This should be interesting. Um, uh, let's see what LB is going to do here. Uh, you're gonna see monasteries for sure because I think he wants to go for the relics. Um, should be interesting to see. Ooh, double monastery coming up even. Actually, this is looking like a monk rush here. Uh, both are coming in for both players immediately. LB doesn't have the wood for a second TC. Keith going there. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Look at this. Double Seat workshop and starting to produce mangonels. That's uh, why the 10 villagers on gold, and of course, from the title, you could see a uh, surprise rush. So, we have um, monks against mangonels, but with Vikings, as far as I remember, you don't get redemption. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but um, I don't think so. And like this, LB is gonna start and take the relics. LB, let's 
go for his uh, point of view. He could see the relic, but he cannot see the mangonels. He cannot see the siege workshop and the siege workshops. And Keith has six mangonels and going at. Uh, he's gonna attack around the 19 minute mark, and LB is just getting his. Uh, First extra TC up, the second TC uh, siege workshop coming up for him, but uh, there is a weak point in the walls. This house and this blacksmith are going to go down really fast. LB has 100 stone, but he's not that fast enough to uh, to wall this up. And uh, market is up, so he could buy wood. He could get a mangonel here. He's got a lot of gold in the bank. He's not buying this. And Keith, in the meantime, 20 minute mark, and he's got one, two, three, four. That's seven mangonels. Of course, Keith doesn't have any extra TCs. He sold the stone for gold. And Barracks now coming up on Stu for the spear because he knows cavalry is good against those now eight, no, three, seven mangonels. And LB. Uh, I don't know if he bought wood or maybe just um, uh, gathered it. But Siege Workshop is going to go down before it's creating a mangonel. And this is looking really bad for, uh, for LB. Really, really nice push. Uh, not able to take those Siege Workshops and then didn't pay attention in the middle. I think he should have walled this a lot faster here. And not what that's not what happened here. Double Monastery, maybe not a good idea with Vikings. And both TC are on attack. We have eight mangonels now on the field for Keith. This is really awesome. Few spearmen here as well. Now sending another villager forward, one uh, villager creating a barracks. And this one just probably just to prepare, uh, to prepare even a monk coming forward. And this looks GG already. Very, very fast game. Um, but what are you going to do? No siege now finally siege workshop is up for LB, but he doesn't have the resources to do many mangonels. Pikeman coming in for Keith, even look at this. And uh, a nice micro here trying to get a mangonel one for nothing. Good for LB. But um, two for one at least something. But he lost the TC already he has to retreat with those villages. And next TC is under heavy attack because there's still six mangonels and a lot of pikemen now inside um, LB space. Very, very nice strategy, in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure if this would tr play out in like uh, 2K1, 2K2 uh, level, but um, I know that LB said, oh, I thought he was just booming, because it's Vikings. And that's not what happened. Uh, Keith was going full, uh, full out aggressive. Really, really nice uh, idea here. And uh, population-wise, LB is on 37. He doesn't have anything. He's got a uh, few lumberjacks here in the back, but he, no gold income except for the relics. And LB t uh, saying, "Well played and resigning." I asked LB, LB after the game. He said, "Yes, very teachable, very educational." Uh, like this game and uh, so he kind of permitted the, uh, this to go up to YouTube. Very nice surprise rush and uh, keep winning this game. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next games and GG.